Hello everybody, this is Trevor Carpenter, and today I'm going to teach you how to green screen. Now, in order to green screen, you obviously need a green screen and proper lighting to ensure that you're casting as little shadows as possible. So, for my clip, I have my attractive friend Dan here, and I'm going to drag this into After Effects. And there you go, you can see that... Um, there he is in front of a green screen, and we used a green rug to cover up all the stuff on the ground so I could get his full body. Now, the two black bars that you see on the side, that was uh, cropped in in Final Cut Pro because there was some a bunch of stuff on the side that wasn't really green, so we cropped it down. So in order to get rid of that, we're going to put a mask over this. So I'm going to go up to layer, mask, new mask. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And we'll drag the mask in. Now, what this does is if I were to not do the mask, then it would be, all of this would be black behind it. But whenever I put an image behind that, there would be two giant black bars. So what this mask does is it takes out those black bars and actually helps us out because now we don't have to green as much. So that looks pretty good. Let's zoom in. All right. So in order to green screen, we're going to go up to effect. We're going to go down to keying and we're going to use key light 1.2. Now you're going to go over to this screen color right here. And you're going to click on the eyedropper and you're just going to click on the green in the background. Boom. Now, for most websites, that's all they'll tell you to do and they'll say that's how you green screen. For me, that's not enough because if we zoom in really close here on my buddy Dan, you can obviously see that there's a little bit of white right around him. And if we play the clip, then we can see that that white doesn't go away and it's kind of choppy and it doesn't look as clean as it can be. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn up the gain just a little bit. This screen gain right here. And you guys will see that white start going away. The problem with this is that if we turn it up a lot, it'll actually start cutting into his clothes. So I'm going to crank this up to about 160. And you guys can see this little black spot right here. You can kind of see it's black right there. And if I turn the gain down, you can see that it starts going away and it starts coming back. You can actually see, you know, that's what it looks like. But we don't want any of that white background. So we're going to crank it up to 160. Now, in order to get that smooth outline around him so it's not choppy, because if we can see, we can see it's really choppy right now which, you know, is just not going to look good for whatever going to put him in. So we'll look at this in real time so you can see how choppy it is. Yeah, it just looks grainy and bad. So we're going to go to this edge color correction right down here, and we're going to enable edge color, and we'll check that. Now, what this will do is this will put a nice hard edge right around there, but it won't be that offset white that we had to begin with. It'll just be his natural colors. So we're going to go down here to saturation, make sure that's at 100. We're going to go to the contrast and crank that down and drop it down. And you guys can see, you can see the white. You see, like now it's actually coming out. And now let's look at it with the contrast. Now we can see it's not nearly as choppy. He's actually got the white outline like it should look. But we still have a little bit of white there. So what we're going to do is we're going to crank up the brightness. And hopefully that will take away some of it. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and see how that looks. All right. Now this yellow box around here is obviously my layer mask. And if you don't like that white, if it's still kind of off like that for you, you can go ahead and turn up the gain just a bit more to kind of ensure that that white isn't going to interfere. But make sure it's not too much, otherwise you're going to get really, really choppy. 
So we'll put it at about 180. So there's Dan just standing around and that's how you green screen. So now let's try this out. We'll go put my friend Dan in outer space and see how he looks. Look at him there, standing in space, just doing his Dan thing. And obviously, you know, I can edit this clip and move him around or move the background around. And yeah, that's how you green screen.